you like Boy George? Um, because he's an individual. Yeah. Scrooby. Yeah. Bright. Everything like that. I don't wear makeup around the house, of course. Why not? Well, because my mother wouldn't appreciate it. What did... And she looks at me and she says, the mind boggles, Stephen. Dad's, you know, a bit... We get back to university, start studying at university. What are you doing at university? I'm doing a Bachelor of Science, so be a doctor in cell pathology. It was a Boy George Bonanza, a bargain basement of identikit kids vying for the chance to meet their pop star prototype. Jenny Russell. <laughs> Today is the day Danny meets his maker. The last two weeks he spent agonising over vital details. Should he play hard to get? Should he gush? Should he be deep and meaningful? And most important of all, what should he wear? Very much so, yeah. Have you been up all night rehearsing spontaneous dialogue? No, not at all, not at all. What are you going to say to him? I think I'll let him hit the first question. <laughs> Danny, I hear you've bought Boy George a prezi. Is it a dress or what? Well, it's actually a big jacket that buttons up from both sides and um, it's supposed to be a basis of um, Aboriginal totem poles. Do you which... think Boy George will love it? Well, I hope so. I really do. I hope so. While Danny adds the final touches, his look-alike dispensed pearls of wisdom to his media minions. I don't believe in tampering with nature. I think you've got to do the best with what you've got. And I think that's what I do, you know. I don't think I'm fantastic looking, but I can make myself look okay. George, you okay. must get sick and tired of looking at boys George look alike. Surely you're seeing plenty of them on your tour. Why should I get sick and tired of it? I mean, there's enough for you can be doing as well, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> the press conference over, Danny is shuffled into a private room. A nervous bride led to his alter ego. Well, now we've got to find what you two have got in common. Oh. Oh, I, think, I don't think, um, to answer that question, I think that, you know, no two people are alike. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, like people say, oh, if somebody dresses up like me, that they've got no imagination. But there just seems to be this sort of attitude that, you know, young people sort of, like, go around screaming at pop stars and they yeah. just don't think about what they're doing. Talking you know? about age, how long are you going to be boy George? You're going to be man George? You're going to be geriatric George? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, well, what's your name? Kathy. So you're going to be, you know, chronic Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how chronic I am yet. <laughs> um, you know, I, I mean, obviously, one likes to grow gracefully, you know. Must have been up all and what of Danny? After all this painstaking preparation on his exterior, what has he got to offer boy George from his interior? You must have one question you want to ask George. Not at the moment. What are you... Kathy, well, Danny didn't have a question at that moment, which was a pity because it was probably his only moment. It just goes to show that clothes don't maketh the boy. <laughs>